Hi Libra, I am the Awakened Dreamer and I'm here to give you a weekly tarot reading for the week of September 21st to the 27th. And I do want to of course take this moment to thank all of my new and returning subscribers. Welcome everybody. And if you haven't yet, please do make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. And I more than appreciate all of your likes, shares, and comments. So head on down below and do just that. And while you're down there, you will see all the information you need to book a personal reading with myself. So go ahead and shoot me an email and I'll get that started for you. And on the most important note, I meditated on your beautiful energy before beginning this reading. And the message that came through was racing to the top. Love it. Racing to the top, my friend. It gets me excited. Your readings typically do. But let's get started as um, we pull a message or two from the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck. What do we have for our lovely Libra, Librans, excuse me, to begin this weekly read? For Libra, please. Thank you, Spirit. Keep them coming for Libra. Please and thank you, Spirit. Excellent. We have three for you. First off, shared inspiration. Throw yourself into a new project. Be willing to let go of time constraints and rules and really be aware of whatever fulfills your heart. Absolutely beautiful. This is a reminder this week, my friend, that whatever you've been working towards as you most definitely are racing to the top, uh, throw yourself into it 1000%. Don't allow yourself to hold back at all. Because when you do so, there's a sort of magical feeling that just starts to shine from your work because of it as a result. And also on another side note, as a result, you start to shine and glow on a different level because you have immersed yourself in whatever project you've been working towards. It's absolutely beautiful. And also be aware that this is probably that one of the major things in your life at this time that fulfills you, makes you feel full as an individual gentle moderation take your time uh, pressure from others or yourself can be released by renegotiating what you are trying to accomplish this reminds you to one be gentle with yourself but also don't allow people or situations to put any sort of pressure on you when it comes to what you've been working towards or whatever goals you have set in place moving forward. It's your life and you are going to move at the comfortable pace that feels right for you. And the pressures from other people and situations or yourself are not going to help things move along quicker because destin uh, divine timing is in place whether you remember this or not. So to accept or uh, allow such pressures in your life will just stress you out at the end of the day. We don't need that extra stress in our plate because I feel like Libra, Libras at this time have a lot to accomplish, a lot in your plate, which is good, but you don't need that extra stress and anxiety. Alrighty. And then we have for the third and final one, where you need to be. Acknowledge how you are feeling have faith the universe will take care of a current concern by providing the best possible outcome for all involved. First and foremost, what came from this card was that you Libra are where you need to be at this current time. It may not feel like it 1000% because it might not be your ultimate final goal, but you're where you need to be at this time. 
whether it's to save money or whether it's to learn something or to grow or to finish up some sort of situation or cycle, everything and every place that you end up has its purpose. It's something that we need to remind ourselves of. As well as, yeah, of course, acknowledging how you're feeling, but having faith in the universe is truly key for you this week. Because if there's a certain concern for you, whether it's financial or whatever it is, it's going to be different for everybody. Whatever just came to mind, that's probably the concern they were talking about. You need to have faith in the universe and trust that they're that everything is going to work itself out in a sense. It doesn't mean you don't need to put work towards whatever is bothering you or you're concerned about, but allowing yourself not to stress over it. Because again, that stress is not gonna change anything. It's not gonna adjust the outcome. You just need to trust that you will figure it out side by side with your spirit guides in the universe and that'll all work out and fall into place. Good start. Ooh, and with the exception of the third card, very much a purple feeling, purple theme coming through with these two cards. So I'm going to advise you, my friend, to either pause this video or at the end, look up the spiritual meaning of the color purple. Uh, very spiritual meaning, but also very royal. Let's continue. I want to pull seven tarot cards one for each day of the upcoming week some shuffling first it's a messy shuffle it might be a symbol or a sign rather that things may feel a bit messy at times but you're making it happen you're making your way to the top my friend Alrighty, what do we have for Libra to continue this weekly read? Thank you, Spirit. For Libra. Keep them coming. For Libra. Very interesting. For Libra, please. What else do we have for this upcoming week for Libra? And the last and final one. Some mixed emotions coming through. To start off on Monday, my friend, we have the Six of Swords. It's time to walk away, or in this case, sail away from a situation. A mental uh, habit of yours, potentially. Doubting yourself, thinking and expecting the worst. Ooh, putting pressures on yourself or accepting other uh, forms of pressure from other people in situations. It very For a few of you, it feels like there's a situation that's unhealthy in your life and you need to uh, escape it in some way, shape or form. But for the majority of you who have been drawn to this video, this is about your mental habits and your way of dealing with situations and stresses. Allowing yourself to take a step back and find a healthier resolution. And again, to believe that the universe and spirit has your back and that everything's going to work out. Even if it doesn't feel like it in that exact moment. It's not an easy change, honestly, the Six of Swords, but necessary nonetheless. And then we have the Sun card for Tuesday. Once you are able to finally make that necessary change, whatever it is for you individually, on Monday, when Tuesday rolls around, you're going to be feeling so ecstatic, so happy. The Sun card doesn't pop out when you're feeling just okay. 
it's gonna feel like you are just on top of the world you know like you have uh accomplished something so substantial for you on an inner level on a soul level that it just allows you to shine differently and don't even think for a second that people aren't going to notice this people are going to notice how much you're shining on tuesday how happy you are how content you are and how confident you are absolutely amazing and it's a good reminder to all of us because i'm a leo libra libra to not fight or question these changes when they do pop up or when we initiate them because look at the result the following day you're feeling so ecstatic and confident it almost feels like you're able to deal with something and then move right along into this happy content state and then we have the seven of wands for wednesday It's very interesting, the progression of these first three days of the week where you go from kind of feeling down and making these necessary changes to really, really happy and content, like on top of the world. And then the third day you are feeling very at ease, very peaceful, less, I wanna go skip through a field because I'm so happy, but more so I'm in my own energy and I just kind of want to meditate and and be peaceful. But it's good, It's it's a very, balanced way of being it's very much so ah uh, yes okay i'm confident about one who i am two where i'm going and three where that everything's going to sort of fall into place and you may have made these realizations and accomplishments previously but it's almost like you needed a reminder or you needed to go through a small progression in the week in order to get back to that and then the three of cups for Thursday. It's gonna be a day for you to spend with your loved ones, with your soul connections, if you will. Those few people that are closest to you, you may find yourself spending time with them on Thursday. Even if you are feeling a bit distanced from them physically, you could FaceTime or you could text or call them on the phone or it could be more so just a, a physical gathering with uh, these soul connections. And for a lot of Librans out there, I feel like you have dimmed down your soul connections these days. You've gone from having a bajillion uh, acquaintances and friends and whatnot to being like Queen of Swords, chop, 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 gotten rid of a lot of them who just weren't working for you anymore, who weren't aligned with you anymore. And so it's a very quality over quantity kind of feeling and you are utilizing this day i feel like to spend with them and it's a good time to do so because you already went through that change and you allowed yourself to to feel happy and then peaceful and then okay let me show off a little bit <laughs> not really but let me just uh, spend some time with these important people and then the hermit card for friday it's going to be a day where you feel like just kind of taking a step back and doing your own thing. Maybe it's because you're not used to socializing as much these days. And when you do do so on Thursday, you're just kind of like, yeah, I want to, I want to be in my own energy again. Maybe you've been feeling like this a lot lately, and that's why you haven't been socializing very much. I do feel like it has a lot to do with as well with this project that you're throwing yourself into, that you've been working towards, that's helping you achieve a lot of success in small, beautiful ways, which is just gonna snowball and snowball as you continue. And don't let anybody make you feel weird or different for wanting to do this. It's completely normal. I don't give a shit what people say. You have realized that you needed the time to to rest and rejuvenate or to be in your own energy to separate yourself from other energies around you and so all you're doing is taking a step back enjoying your solitude and allowing yourself to regroup so you can you know almost take a step back to socialize or to you know those other energies it's completely normal and natural so don't feel bad about it do your own thing libra 
and then Ace of Pentacles for Saturday. It's like as you have accomplished some of these personal developments and changes that were necessary and almost avoided a, a tower moment, the universe is coming through, spirit's coming through and being like, here you go, Libra. Here's a small bit of financial improvement or here's a small uh, opportunity for you to grow your finances even more. Here's a way for you to feel better about your situation. But I do feel like whatever this is for you, it's an offer or a, a gift from the universe to improve your finances in one way, shape, or form. It could simply be a small windfall or maybe even some more clients for your business. Or maybe it's just a, a new idea or opportunity for a side hustle to start sprinkling in some more cash on the side. It is once again gonna be different for all of you, but it's spirit in the universe's way of saying, good job, Libra. We've been with you the entire time, guiding you and protecting you. And we see all that you've done on a personal level, as well as being in a way an inspiration and a an example for others. It's their way of thanking you and showing you that that doesn't go unnoticed. And then the Nine of Swords to finish off the week on Sunday. It's almost like on Sunday you start to second guess what has transpired and the choices that you've made and kind of a slip up. It may feel like you, there may be one situation on Sunday that leaves you feeling a bit anxious, it might keep you up at night. It could simply be your own thoughts. For some of you, this isn't a negative mindset. It may be that you're just so excited about what you're working towards, about the achievements you're making, about, you know, being successful for the first time in a while. It, that excitement and passion may just be running through your head like constantly to where you just can't seem to sleep or you can't seem to, to put your mind to rest that day. It's a small moment and I feel like you'll learn from it and grow from it. Just don't let it carry through to the next week. Because Libra, you need your rest and uh, relaxation in order to keep moving forward. But let's continue, or finish off the reading rather, by pulling a message or two from the Find Your Happy deck. What do we have for Libra to wrap up this weekly read? I should say this wonderful read. For Libra, please. Thank you, Spirit. Perfect. All coming out at once. First one, I am open and willing to live my life in new ways. Absolutely beautiful. It reminds you, Libra, that you are in the mindset this week and moving forward. Willing to adjust, willing to learn new things and learn new ways of being and new ways of thinking as you do make some of these necessary changes. And you're going to see beautiful results um, flowing your way because of it. That's beautiful. Keep being open to all the new possibilities and ways of being. And then I do not cheat on my future with my past. This is reminding you, my friend, that you in no way, shape or form should be drifting to the past if that's part of this Nine of Swords situation at the end of the week. Allow yourself to stay present or at the very least look to your future, but most importantly, stay present. Because I feel like when we Librans do drift to the past these days, it tends to bring up negative emotions. We tend to get lost in it and question whether we made the right choices, letting people and situations go or uh, questioning whether or not we should have fought for a situation more so. And none of that's gonna be helpful at this time because you have all kinds of bright, beautiful things ahead of you, new connections ahead of you. And so whatever is gone will be replaced with something that is 10 times more beneficial and fitting for your life and your new way of being. Oh, and I'm just seeing it now. We got two purple cards here to pair up with the two purple cards in the beginning. 
it's this or something better. If you're not 100% uh, content with where you are currently, whether it's a living situation, a job, uh, whatever it is for you, a relationship, then it can be changed. It's this or something better. There's no going back like I was saying, but it's, you need to realize that if you don't like where you currently are, what you are currently working towards, you can change it. It's in your power, it's within your reach. But on that note, my friend, as this week trickles on, make sure you are being one with the changes that do pop up and make sure you're most definitely throwing yourself into whatever project you've been working towards and allow yourself to stay peaceful and balanced as you uh, rejuvenate and accept all these new blessings coming into your life. As you, like we were saying, race to the top, my friend. Love it. So on that note, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my wonderful channel and head on down below and do like this video and leave me a comment. I want to hear all about your situation. And don't forget to send me an email about booking a personal reading. And I hope you have the most amazing week and I will see you next time. Bye Libra.